dear students with a smile with a positive note we start our chemistry class i hope you all understand the previous session you analyzed that you have a note you applied in various questions i just want to give you a information that if you have any queries any doubts please add our telegram link and you send it on the telegram link definitely we clear the doubts we clear your queries you know our telegram is now on fine okay before i going to start my class something for you this is i share my views okay i just want to say one thing that students i hope you all play cricket i also play, play cricket so <clears throat> we are the batsmen one ball is coming unfortunately we miss that ball second ball is coming again we miss that ball so what now we quit our game okay life is the bowler and we are the batsmen life throw the ball balls means opportunities unfortunately you miss the opportunities secondly also you miss the opportunities so next what you lose your hope you lose your life no way because you just remember one thing you play the cricket in that ground when there is no player when there is no stump so there is no chance to catch your ball there is no wicket so no chance to bowl out only you can lose when you quit the game so i just want to say one thing entrance is about patience and calmness be patient please be calm definitely you can crack we play the cricket with our life in that ground when there is no wicket so there is no chance to bowl when there is no players so there is no chance to out when we out when we decided to quit so i just want to say have patience have calmness definitely you can crack our entrance our motto we start our vision with a good motto we collectively analyze all the things we collectively effort to crack our entrance examinations okay now we start our class last class uh, we discuss atomic models thomson's model rutherford's models the limitations their applications fine okay now i just give you some informations some objectives about your entrance first isotope isobar these things we discuss today so we discuss our first topic that is isotope isotope similar atomic number but different mass number similar atomic number but different मास नंबर आप सबको पता है एटॉमिक नंबर क्या है मास नंबर क्या है ऑलरेडी आप लोग फेमिलियर हो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कशन इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशंस दैट एटॉमिक नंबर इज नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स मास नंबर इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स प्लस नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन सिमिलर एटॉमिक नंबर बट डिफरेंट मास नंबर ओके फाइन वी विल टेक एग्जांपल सम लाइक कार्बन कार्बन देयर आर थ्री आइसोटोप्स C six twelve, C six thirteen, C six fourteen. Okay, six. These all have the same atomic number. Fine. Number of protons are same, but what about neutrons? They are different. C six twelve, C six thirteen, and C six fourteen. As well as oxygen. You can <coughs> observe the isotopes of oxygen: eight sixteen, eight seventeen, and eight eighteen, and eight eighteen. Fine. Okay. Eight is the atomic number. And 16, 17, 18 are the mass number of isotopes of oxygen, respectively. As like you know, the first element that is hydrogen, protium, deuterium, and tritium. Protium, deuterium, and tritium they have also same atomic number, but their mass numbers are different. They are integers accordingly. Fine. So whatever the isotope, just remember one thing: similar atomic number, but different. mass number now <coughs> we explain all the things fine what are the i should also carbon oxygen we explain okay so students we start with the example carbon 6 12 6 13 6 14 and you count that uh, finally proton 6 6 6 electron as well as proton because there is no charge fine and the neutron 
और सिक्स सिक्स टू एंड न्यूट्रॉन ए सिक्स सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्रोटॉन एंड यर सिक्स प्लस सेवन यर सिक्स प्लस एट सिंपल यू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व एंड नोट आइसोटोप्स हैव सेम न्यूक्लियर चार्ज दे हैव सेम न्यूक्लियर चार्ज ओनली डिफरेंट इन दे नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स दे हैव सेम न्यूक्लियर चार्ज दे हैव सिमिलर नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स Fine. That is, they have similar atomic number, only different with the number of neutrons or not. different with the mass number. Fine. Okay. I just want to say one thing. Please kindly remember that isotopes are similar with their chemical property, only differ with their physical property. Fine. And isotopes have different charge by mass ratio, different charge by mass ratio. There are two things you just focus about that. There are the key point. There are the I use this isotopes are behave chemically similar. Only they behave physically different. And second one, they have different charge by mass ratio. They have different charge by mass ratio. They have similar nuclear charge. These are some points. Kindly remember one thing. Isotope simply similar atomic number, different mass number. They have similar number of protons, different in number of neutrons. They have similar chemical property. They differ with physically. And the last one is they have different charge by mass ratio. Okay? You find out other examples for oxygen, for hydrogen. Fine. Hydrogen for protein, there is no neutron. Neutron is zero. Fine. So these are the basic information. You just focus and <coughs> think. Okay? Analyze just once. Fine. Isotopes. So now <coughs> we focus about atomic weight. I already told you when we focus about carbon, there are three isotopes: six, twelve, six, thirteen, six, fourteen. So why its atomic weight is twelve? आप लोग को पता है कैसे होता है फिर भी we discuss once. Okay? Simply there are three isotopes you take like that: a one, b one, c one. Fine? And this is their weight, isotopic weight: w one, w two, and w three. And this is the percentage of occurrence on natural abundance. Okay, C six twelve naturally get me. C six thirteen get me. C six fourteen get me. These are the percentages. Fine. So the average atomic weight is W one into X one. The isotopic weight into the percentage of occurrence plus W two into plus W two into Y two plus W three into Z one. By simply, <coughs> this is one man. By x one plus y one plus z one. This is the natural occurrence. You focus here. For chlorine, there are two isotopes. Seventeen, you know, the atomic number. The atomic uh, number here also seventeen. The mass number is thirty-five. Here thirty-seven. Fine. Uh, they are naturally at the ratio three is to one. So. This is seventy-five percent, and this is twenty-five percent. You put the formula: thirty-five into seventy-five plus thirty-seven into twenty-five by seventy-five plus twenty-five hundred. So you can find that that is average atomic weight. That is isotopic average isotopic atomic weight. That is thirty-five point five. So we take that the atomic mass of chlorine is thirty-five point five. You also put the formula as like that is <coughs> for chlorine thirty five thirty five into three plus thirty seven into one by three plus one four as you got thirty five point five. So if uh, the elements have uh, isotopes, we find the atomic weight by putting that formula. We will take the isotopic weights. We will take the natural occurrence or aboutness in the percentage. And put the formula isotopic weight into natural occurrence plus second isotopic weight into natural occurrence plus third into natural occurrence divided by summation of all natural occurrences. You can find the atomic weight. So the atomic weight of an element is the average of mass of all the isotopes of that element. अब हर एक आइसोटोप का जो जितना भी एटॉमिक वेट है मिला दो उनका एवरेज जो आता है वो एटॉमिक वेट होता है दो एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आइसोटोप्स जिस जिस का आइसोटोप है फाइन आप कार्बन का ट्वेल्व सो ऐसे फॉर्मूला से आया हुआ है 
because there are three isotopes fine so when there are three isotopes we can decide their atomic weight by putting that formula in focus on chlorine there are two isotopes 35 and 37 their mass numbers atomic numbers you know in isotopes they have similar atomic numbers fine the naturally occurrence with the ratio 3 is to 1 so 75 percent and 25 percent so you can put the 35 into 75 plus 37 into 25 by 100 or 35 into 3 plus 37 into 1 by 4 so you can find out the simply average <coughs> isotopic weight this is the atomic weight of an element those are isotopes so isotope simply what are the points that isotope similar atomic number different mass number they have similar protons they have similar electrons because they have similar nuclear charge different in only neutrons they behave similarly with their chemical property but with physical property they are different they have different charge by mass ratio and uh, those elements uh, have isotopes we can find out the average atomic weight by putting that formula to upload some block we are again take it up so this case of family are both the information a pale is a sort of a cafe to put out this good hand back now for a guy come in a company is going to die again to supply and now got to you people just remember the things okay isotopes next one going to isobar so now we discuss about isobars iso means equal bar means weight fine and uh, yes this is called the isobars b a r e s this b a r fine given by s term simply what do you mean by isobars aap log ko pata hai they have same mass number okay they have same mass number but different with their atomic number simply they have different number of electrons protons neutrons but summation of proton and neutron is equal simply isobars means similar mass number different atomic number similar mass number different atomic number that's why when they have different atomic number they have different with their proton with their electron with their neutrons but they have same mass number when we <coughs> summation with the neutrons and protons these are all equal for all isopores fine they are formed through decay they are formed through decay fine okay the some basic properties of isopores first of all they don't have similar physical as well as chemical properties they don't have similar they are different with the physical and chemical properties and uh, they don't have the same value of charge by mass ratio means charge by mass ratio for isobars are different so these are the basic informative part of isobars iso means uh, simply equal and the bar means weight or equal weight or similar mass number mass number means summation of proton plus neutron but atomic numbers are different though electrons are different maybe protons are different maybe neutrons are different but when we summation proton and neutron they are equal for isobars they form through decay and simply they <coughs> don't have similar property with the physical and chemical behavior they are different with charge and mass ratio fine now we will take in some examples for that isobars so these are the some basic examples of simply isobars okay you will take hydrogen 1 3 and helium 2 3 5 for hydrogen 1 3 this is the atomic number that's why the number of proton is 1 number of electron is as well as 1 but the number of neutron is 2 simply and proton plus neutron is 3 we'll take here helium 2 3 proton is 2 because this is the atomic number number of electron is as well as 2 and number of neutron is 2 plus 1 so 1 okay you compare the proton and summation of proton plus neutron this is for hydrogen 3 this is for helium 3 so the mass number is same but the atomic numbers here different 1 and 2 fine so this is the isobar same, same mass number but differ with their atomic number same mass number okay but differ with their atomic number fine this is for 1 this is for 2 but here the mass number is 3 and 3 as well as we take another example already you familiar with that whenever you studied about isosop, isobar all teachers they say about that potassium and calcium potassium the atomic number is 90 the mass number is 40 and for calcium the atomic number is 20 mass number is 45 so same mass number 
but atomic numbers are different same mass number but atomic numbers are different here yeah? and 19 this is the atomic number so number of proton 19 number of electron 19 but number of neutron that is 40 minus 19 that is 21 here yeah? proton is 20 electron is 20 neutron is 20 summation of proton plus neutron that is 40 here 20 plus 20 40 so these are the same fine so these are the examples of our isobars so we already discussed isotopes and isobars what is the difference between them isotopes same atomic number same atomic number different mass number and for isobars same mass number different in atomic number fine this we have chemically similar isotopes and physically different but here they behave different with the physical and chemical behavior uh, they have this is the similar point that they don't have the same value of uh, charge by mass ratio also isobar have uh, the same value don't have the same value also it have different value with the charge by mass ratio so these are the isotopes and isobars you will uh, explain i will explain you all the examples you will focus on that all the examples fine so isotopes and uh, isobars now move on to something now we turn to isodiapers isodiapers means kya hai simply observe karna ye do different element hai par jab hum difference karenge unke neutron and proton ko uska jo value aayega wo dono mein se same aayega simple si baat hai they are the atoms of different element they are different elements but when we focus about the difference of neutron and proton their value is same for both so this is the formula a1 minus 2z1 equal to a2 minus 2z2 simply a, a that is mass number z that is atomic number fine i clearly explain you through the examples just one thing you remember they are different elements but they have the same value when we observe the difference of neutron and proton when you observe the difference value between neutron and proton for both elements this value is same but the elements are different Fine. Now I will uh, show you in examples. So this is the examples. Fine. Boron and carbon. These are the two different elements. Fine. Boron is five and eleven. Carbon of the six and thirteen. Okay. You can use your isotopes. Fine. What are the proton, electron, neutron count? For boron, that is proton equal to five. These are the atomic number. Electron as well as five. Okay. Nuclear charge same and the neutron is 11 minus 5 6 okay what we focus the difference value between neutron and proton that is 6 minus 5 equal to 1 is just focus here second element carbon for carbon the proton is 6 electron is 6 because they have the same nuclear charge and n neutron is 7 so n minus p equal to 1 so what do you observe here these are the two different elements you don't know different element day. when we focus on the difference value between neutron and proton equal for both one and one fine we will uh, turn to next example between nitrogen and fluorine nitrogen 7 and 15 fluorine 5 and 19 7 and 15 fluorine 5 and 19 fine okay proton 7 atomic number 7 electron 7 7 because there is no charge here fine okay neutron that is 8 neutron minus proton 1 neutron minus proton 1 here also proton simply <coughs> proton 9 electron 9 and neutron is 10 here 9 okay please correct that this is 9 atomic number is 9 for fluorine so proton 9 electron 9 and neutron is 10 neutron is 10 19 minus 9 10 so n minus p equal to 1 n minus p equal to 1 so this value is same but the elements are different so what is isodiaphor simply two elements are different when we focus upon the different value between neutron and proton that value is same for both the elements okay and second one i will be <coughs> i already told you a formula that is a1 minus 2z1 equal to a2 minus 2z2 simply a1 we just focus this example boron and carbon a1 a1 for <coughs> this is the mass number for boron so 11 minus 2 into z1 5 so equal, its value is 1 11 minus 10 the value is 1 okay 8 to minus 2 then 2 8 to simply 13 a means mass number okay a1 for boron a2 for carbon 
So for parabola, the mass number is 13 minus 2 into z2. This is the atomic number for carbon. So 6, its value is always 1. So 1 equal to 1. This is the formula for isodiapers. What about isodiapers? The different elements, when we focus about the difference value between Newton and proton, in these elements, they have the same value. And there is a formula that A1 minus 2Z1 equal to A2 minus 2Z2. A1, simply A means mass number. Z means atomic number. You focus two elements for one, A1 minus 2Z1 equal to A2 minus 2Z2. Fine. And you observe all the things. Newton minus proton equal to 1. Here 1, here 1. So these are the isodiapers. Different elements. Newton minus proton value are same. Different elements, nitrogen and fluorine. Difference between that neutron and proton is same. So these are the isodiapers. We already discussed isotopes, isobars, and the isodiapers. Now going to isotones. Okay. So now turn to isotones. Okay. This is also called isoneutronic and isotonic. Uh, you focus on that. So you slightly find out the games. What is the definition of isotope? Simply that they are the atoms of different elements which have the same number of neutrons. Same number of neutrons. You focus two elements, they are different elements, but still they have the same number of neutrons. These are called isoneutrons, okay? Or isotones, or isotonic, okay? This is the formula we should follow that A1 minus Z1 equal to A2 minus Z2. Now I turn to the examples and I explain you with that example. So just remember one thing isotones means same number of neutrons with the different elements. We we'll take two different elements and count the neutrons, whether that is same, so they are called isotonic species or isoneutronic species, fine, okay? Now I turn to the example. Now I turn to the examples, okay, we we'll take examples here, hydrogen 1, 3, helium 2, 4, fine, we we'll count the proton, proton is 1, that is atomic number, electron is 1, as usual, you know, and neutron is 3 minus 1, that is 2, fine. And the second he 24 helium 24 proton is 2 that is the atomic number as well as electron is equal to proton so 2 neutron is 4 minus 2 that is 2 fine so what you observe that these are the two different elements but they have the same neutron number here n equal to 2 here n equal to 2 this is the important thing fine okay now you have observed the second example between potassium and calcium 19 30 39 20 45 19, so proton 19, electron 19, neutron 39, minus 19, that is 20. Here calcium 20, 40, proton 20, electron 20, neutron, that is 20. Fine. So they have same neutron number. They are different numbers. They are different uh, elements, but they have same neutron number. Fine. Okay. Now turn to the formula A1 minus Z1 equal to A2 minus Z2. A, you know that that is the mass number. Z, that is the atomic number. So, <coughs> simply for A1, okay, this is 3. 3 minus 1, that is 2. A2, this is 4. 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, A1 minus Z1 equal to A2 minus Z2. So, this is what isoneutronic species or isotones means the different elements with the same neutron number. So, you focus this example, hydrogen 1. 3 and helium 2, 4, similarly potassium 1939 and calcium 2014. You count all the things that they have the same neutron number and they are the different elements. So we know that isotopes, so we focus about isotopes, isobars, isodiapers, and now isotopes. Next move on to. So now turn to isosters. Okay. Isosters means they are the molecule which have same number of atom and the Electrons, okay. You focus to different molecules, uh, count the number of atoms and count the number of electrons. If that is same, they are called isosters, okay. I will take an example that is for carbon dioxide and N2O5. For CO2, you find the number of atoms that 1 plus 2 equal to 3, electrons 6 plus 8 equal to 2, 16. That is total number of electrons 22, 22 electrons, okay. 22 electrons, 5 or N2O, 
2 plus 1 that is 3 the same atom number and kilogram simply 7 into 2 14 plus 8 that is 22 5 so 22 what you focus these are the two different molecules two different compounds you will find out the number of atoms number of atoms if they are equal find out the number of electrons if they are equal that they are called isosters here i will take examples of co2 co2 1 plus 2 so there are three atoms and 2 2 plus 1 there are three atoms so i <coughs> observe that there are same number of atoms okay now same number of electrons for co2 6 you know 6 plus 8 into 2 16 that is 22 number of electrons here for n2 also 14 plus 8 22 number of electrons fine so these two molecules these two compounds are isosters because they are same number of atoms and same number of electrons so what we focus about isotopes isobars isodiapers isotons and now isosters isosters means they have same number of atoms as well as same number of electrons first of all you focus two molecules count the number of atoms count the number of electrons if they are like if they are same you call that that is isosters fine now turn to iso electronic okay so you just uh, <coughs> from the title focus that that iso electronic means same number of electrons okay so the uh, definition they are the atoms the atoms molecules ions okay you count the electrons when they are same that is called iso electronic species here some examples you will take chlorine cl minus and argon cl minus and 17 plus 1 18 and 18 so same number of electrons s2 and s3 2 plus 8 10 3 plus 7 10 so iso electronic bf3 so to chlorine bf3 simply 27 plus so 27 plus 5 32 and here 16 plus 16 32 5 so they are same number of electrons these spaces are same number of electrons so these are called iso electronic spaces iso electronic spaces simply you just count the electrons whether that is ion atom or molecule if that is same that is called iso electronic spaces okay here some examples you will try with that examples okay you will try in your home some examples more that is between cl minus and ar same electron 18 s2 ns 39 n bl ratio to 32 and uh, somehow there is uh, some another species called isostructural right? isostructural but when i explain you these things in hybridization okay when i study about hybridization i just uh, give the explanation of isostructural in it okay there is a question both isostructural and isoelectronic species when you study about molecular structure there is a question definitely there is a question which one of them is isostructural and isoelectronic you know that isoelectronic means you count the electrons whether that is same or not whether that is same that is called isoelectrons and now then focus about isostructural when you study the molecular structure we just know these things size structure okay so students what is the summary today the summary is about first isotope same atomic number different mass number isobar that is opposite to isotope same mass number different atomic number what are the properties physical chemical properties charge by mass ratio the examples next one isodiapers isodiapers then next one isotons or isoneutronic species okay iso electronic species all are things i hope you understand properly okay you just uh, <coughs> see our video properly and uh, have some notes okay uh, just click the below button and get the pdf there are some questions i to do that question if you any query i give you the information that we have a telegram link please add the telegram link if you have any queries please send to the telegram link okay i definitely clear that your queries clear the doubts fine okay i just want to say please subscribe our channel please register in our website that is arif.com okay and any queries send to the telegram link thank you so much next time we discuss about some symbol formula radicals with different types of structures and then some concepts also as well as actually uh, i want to explain you these classes uh, with uh, my concept that one class is about theory, another is about your objectives or boosting best. Okay, so don't worry, keep on watching. Okay, kindly please have passers, be calm, definitely you can crack in it. Thank you so much.